Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. It's always nice to sew with friends. Today's block number seven of a sampler quilt I'm making called Summertime Sampler. I'm making two versions. Here's the first and at the end I'll show you the second. So let's get started. For our block today, I'm going to need two strips of fabric and here I'm using a background fabric and a sort of a golden yellow and these strips are two and a half inches by about 28 inches long. I'm going to need to cut 10 squares out of my two and a half inch strip and so I laid them both together because I'm going to be making half square triangles and it was just easier to put them together right now, cut, and then they'll be ready when I draw my pencil line. I also need four squares and mine are green that are three and a half inches square. So I'm going to take my little two and a half inch squares here and I'm going to draw a pencil line corner to corner and I will not be drawing a line on all of my little squares. They're so small that I am able to eyeball it so I didn't want to take the time to draw that pencil line but I wanted to show you it is helpful if you're not sure of where to put your seam. And then I just put my seam right next to that pencil line on either side of that pencil line. And when I was done sewing on both sides, I took some scissors. You could also use a rotary blade. I took my scissors and I cut these little squares in half to create some half square triangles. After pressing my half square triangles, I need 20 of these, so I had 10 squares that made 20 half square triangles. I'm going to trim them all to 2 inches square. Now it's time to make the little pinwheel block that is an element in this windmill block that we're making today. And I took four of those half square triangles. I made sure that they were all going in the same direction. If you can imagine them being little arrows and kind of moving around in a circle. And what you'll want to do is make sure that all five of your little pinwheel blocks here are going the same direction. I don't think it matters which direction you choose, whether those little arrows go to the right or to the left, but they do need to match. All five of the little pinwheel blocks should be the same.
day I'm sewing on a newer to me machine that I had purchased recently. I think I've shared before this cute little featherweight and I am often using the thread cutter on the Juki that I use quite a bit of the time. So I'm not always chain piecing like I did today, but I did have a lot of these half square triangles to make. And then of course I had some pinwheels to make. So it was a great chain piecing project for this block. For on, when I'm sharing how to do blocks also, I don't always make more than one you know, for a video, I'll just do one block. But if I were just doing it for myself, I might have all of the supplies out for, you know, all the blocks that I'm making. So I did make sure that these little pinwheels are three and a half inches so that they will go with those three and a half inch squares there. Uh, hopefully your little pinwheels will be just the right size, but it's always a good idea to check And here's the second alternate, um, the second quilt that I'm making out of some scrappy fabrics. This block I'm using a pretty blue and red. I'm not sure that the contrast is as great as I would have liked between these two fabrics after I got it all together, but it's done now and I'll be including it in the quilt. And um, I'll also be making another one. So I'm making two blocks for each quilt using this really cute little quilt block called Windmill.
My block is almost done, my second quilt block for this uh, scrappy type sampler that I'm putting together. I'm having fun with this little quilt along. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.